I am back in the iOS room and we are going to do a review. We finally have a audio unit plugin that actually works like a gross beat type plugin, a halftime type plugin inside of iOS that actually works. Yeah, it actually works. Bolo! All right, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, and please turn on those post notifications so you guys will know the next time I have another video available. And if you like this type of content at the end of the video, if you watch the whole video, please hit that thumbs up. If you do not like this type of content, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. As you guys already know, I really don't care. So there is a app developer called Bless, 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 Bless. Well, it's something like that, but these guys make some incredible apps, and today I'm gonna show you guys an app that is totally insane. It is called Slow Machine. It is actually a gross beat style plugin, or halftime if you use that. It's pretty much just like anything that'll slow down your audio on your tracks to kind of give it that halftime gross beat type of a sound, and uh, it actually works. Now, there's a few iOS apps that do the same things, but they don't do it like this app. I know a lot of you guys might say, hey, you know, we can use fly tape and all that good stuff. Yes, fly tape is cool, but it's not like this app. Fly tape, you have to manually do it or you have to automate it. On this app, it works just like the gross beat and halftime type of plugin, and you can do it on iOS now. So for all you guys who's asked me how to slow things down or try to find workarounds around it, you don't have to do that anymore. You can just go ahead and slap this plugin on it and it will work and it's gonna work really good. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I'm not gonna take a long time. I'm gonna show you guys how this works and I want you guys to go into the video description and I want you to go ahead and click on the link so you can go ahead and get this. This plugin is super cheap and don't just get this plugin because this audio company right here is really dope. Bless, 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 I'm gonna call it Bless. Yeah, I'm gonna call it that. They have a ton of great plugins that don't use a lot of power. They sound great. They do what they're supposed to do and I'm actually a fan of their products. So let's go ahead and check out the Slow Machine and once we get done, man, I'm pretty sure a lot of you iOS producers are gonna pick this up if you already don't have it because a few of you guys kinda, you know, kind of been ahead of the curve already. So let's go ahead and get to it right now. All right, so we're in Beatmaker 3 right now, which is, to me, the best iOS beat making program out, hands down, just my opinion. And right now I have a beat that's already put together, just basically a piano. I have a clap hi-hat and a 808 bass in here. And I'm gonna play this for you real quick. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the Slow Machine plugin onto the piano part. So let's play the beat real quick. All right, sounds pretty cool, but needs a little bit more. That's why I'm gonna add the slow machine effect to it right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here to the retro piano and I'm gonna go right here to audio effects and then I'm gonna go to my audio unit effects and then right here as you can see I have the whole bless bless I have the whole suite here and uh, shout out to them for sending this over to me thank you guys so much you really changed the game with these plugins these things are phenomenal if you can't get the whole suite get it for everybody that's out there watching, try to get the whole suite because they have some phenomenal plugins. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go right here to Slow Machine. We're gonna add that onto the plugin. Now, as you can see, basically it has the, the loop size, which is one bar. You can do it half a bar, quarter bar, eighth, or two bars, three bars, four. We could do it at half speed, three, four speed, two thirds, one third, one fourth, all that and it has a time stop on here. Basically, it does that slow down effect on here as well. So now that I have this plugin on here, let's play it back. Ooh, yes, it works. 
it works. So let's 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 do it off. Let's play it back. Now let's turn it back on. Come on now, you're hearing, you're seeing and you're hearing what I'm talking about, right? You see this, right? So that sounds good. So on the other side of this plugin right here, we have the time stop right here. And this is actually dope. So what I'm going to do is while I'm playing the beat, I can go ahead and turn this time stop trigger on and off. But I'm going to show you guys what you can do if you actually put the time stop trigger on hold and watch the effect that it does to it. So I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna just kind of press the time stop on and off by just clicking this right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on hold and watch the effect that it does to it. So let's do that right now. Sound dope. It has different modes to it, and you can go ahead and automate this or just play it live or how you want to do it. It has a you know mixed state we can turn it on, it has a dry and wet, just like the slow down side. But let's go ahead and put a hold on to this and let me show you what you can do. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the hold on and I'm going to actually mess with the speed rate on here and watch what happens. Right now, this is the number one plugin that is doing this. I don't, I don't know any other plugins. I've tried all of them. This is the best. So, as you can see, this thing is the truth. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and get it. You might wanna go ahead and pick up all the other stuff. They have compressors, EQs, saturators. They got a plethora of stuff that is just really kind of like above a lot of developers that are making, you know, plugins for iOS producers and uh man they're really looking out for the ios production community with their plugins that they have i might do a few more videos on some other stuff that they have but right now this was a very 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 important thing to me so as you can see this thing is dope and uh it's very easy to use so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial hope you guys learned something from it and like i always say peace out and get this <laughs>